Hi, my name is Christina Garcia, or as I'm known in the classroom, Teacher Tina. Because if you try to say Teacher Christina too many times in one day, you feel like you ate sawdust. So anyway, um, you're watching my video, so that probably means that your application got chosen to interview, which is so awesome. Congratulations. And good for you for watching some videos and preparing for your interview. Um, so a little bit about me. Uh, I chose VIP Kid uh, for a couple of reasons, the first one being that I love languages and I love little ones, and this is the perfect way to marry the two. Um, also, second reason, I live in Erie, Pennsylvania. It snows a lot here, um, so I don't have to go anywhere in the winter, which is so awesome because I don't have snow tires. Um, anyway, um, so I hope today to give you some tips. The past couple of years, I have worked as a manager at a medical facility. Um, I was responsible for all of the hiring, so I interviewed a lot of people. Um, I've interviewed hundreds of people. I'm, I'm great at giving tips to anybody. I'd love to coach any of you. If you stick around till the end or you look down here, um, you get information, I'd be happy to help you. So. Anyway, um, today I'm going to give you eight tips and this elusive last orange card. Orange card, orange card, orange card. I should probably practice that one. Um, but uh, yeah, if you stick around till the end, we will go over that orange card. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. So um, tip number one that I have for you is read watch and take notes. Um, so that portal is so awesome. There's so much good information on there. YouTube also has great videos. I would try not to do exactly as you see in some videos and some examples. Um, use it more as a diving board from which you can, you know, get your ideas. Uh, but I wouldn't copy anything, uh, you know, do it exactly that way. Make it your own, basically. Um, so a uh, little side note, for my husband and my second wedding anniversary, um, <clears throat> I got him two player games, right? Because it was our two year anniversary. So I got him uh, racquetball and chess and a couple other things. Um, what did he get me for our two year? He got me this laptop, um, which has been tremendously helpful. Um, so when I was reading, uh, all the information that they have on the portal and watching the demo videos, I actually just flipped my computer, stuck it on the treadmill, and just went to town. I went to town, I watched a lot of videos, I got horrifying shin splints, but hey, I was able to move around, which is really good when you're hyperactive like me. So um, I, would, I would recommend that you uh, watch the videos, take notes if that helps you. I always take notes, even on the treadmill. I had a little pen there and a little notepad, and if something was really important, I reminded myself to go back to it um, at, a later, at a later time. Blah, blah, blah. Don't talk fast. Um, so anyway, that was tip number one. Read, watch, and take notes. Um, that'll help you prepare and get familiar with VIP Kid also. Number two, be all smiles. I thought that I was all smiles, and then after my first interview, that was the only um, area for growth that my interviewer told me was to be sure that I was smiling more. Um, so you may think that you're smiling. Record yourself. You may not be smiling as much as you think you're smiling. Um, so I, um, I get lots of questions about what lipstick I use. I don't have it on right now, obviously, um, but I get lots of questions, so I'm going to show you. Um, this is actually not a lipstick. It's a balm stain, and it's from Wet n Wild. I do not work for Wet n Wild. I work for VIP Kid, but um, I do love this stuff, so I'm going to real quick just show you how easy it is to use this. Go like that. And then grab a handy dandy tissue. Go like that just to make sure it's not getting on my teeth. Do a couple kisses so it's not too shiny. <laughs> Done. 
That is it. Um, on a side note, be sure that you have tissues. The morning of my interview, I woke up with a nosebleed. So it was very helpful and it gave me peace of mind to have a tissue box there with me. So anyway, um, since students watch your lips a lot for pronunciation, It's really helpful if you have some color on there, if you are so inclined. Certainly don't have to go buy any makeup. Um, the one that I showed you, this was about $2 from CVS. Um, so feel free if you are so inclined. Um, it also kind of makes me feel more confident now. I'm like a new woman. I'm new. Two minutes ago, I wasn't as confident. So anyway, um, so the second tip was to be all smiles. At all times, you should be smiling, okay? They don't need to know that you're tired. All right, um, and tip number three is look the part. It's true, you don't have to wear orange. That is true, but it's helpful if you wear orange. It makes it look like you, you understand the company and you're passionate about it a little bit more. Me, I didn't own orange. I don't really like to wear orange very much. Um, so I got this shirt from The Limited. No, I didn't. I bought it from Goodwill, and it was $3. So you can certainly go. I know at least Goodwill is sorted by color, so it's super easy in and out. You get exactly what you need. I bought a couple other orange t-shirts. Um, as long as you wear something that's plain, um, it, can have, it can have a collar, like a polo. It can be button-up. This is button-up. Um, or it can just be a plain t-shirt, but they do want you to look decent, you know? Maybe maybe you are planning on just rolling out of bed and doing this. Don't do that. This is really, really important. You need to look your best at this interview, okay? Because this is not only where they meet you face-to-face, -face, but it's also where they determine your pay. And if you look more professional, it, does, it, can't, help, it can't hurt you, right? Exactly. So um, in addition to just looking presentable, um, get a headset. I'm not using the headset now because I tested my computer and you can hear me just fine, but when I'm actually video conferencing with somebody, I use the headset. Um, so I got this headset. I got it on Amazon. It was $20. Um, side note, a lot of them, um, you have to take off this wind guard and sometimes they'll automatically be muted. So before you try to return it and think it doesn't work, unmute it, okay? Um, it helps you look really professional to have a headset and it helps them hear you better. So I would definitely get a headset. Um, for the interview, if you don't have a headset, you don't want to buy one, that's totally fine. You can just use earbuds, um, but it does look and sound better if you have an actual headset. So um, again, that was to look the part. I like to put, as a side note, I like to wear small jewelry. Um, I know some people like to wear really pretty big jewelry. Whatever works for you. I know from teaching high school Spanish, people get distracted sometimes if you have too much jewelry on. Um, so totally up to you, whatever you are comfortable with. But be sure that you look the part. Okay? Um, the next one, and this is super important. Super important, okay? Um, so you need to sell your credentials. Like I said, this is where they determine your pay, okay? So you need to sell your credentials. It's not bragging. They need to know how many years of experience you have. So they're going to ask you questions like, um, do you have classroom teaching experience? Do you have ESL experience? Do you have a teaching certificate? Be sure that you know exactly what you have and exactly how you're going to answer those questions. Um, as an interviewer, having interviewed hundreds of candidates, I think it's really helpful if you have, um, before your interview, if you prepare some questions that you think that person may ask you and you write down some answers. You can write it on a note card and have somebody practice asking you and you practice answering. Okay, um, but that part of the interview, it is very short. They really, they're just going down a rubric and checking your credentials um, so that they can determine how much they're going to pay you. So be sure that you are honest and thorough in explaining exactly what your experience is. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, because that determines your pay and it also um, kind of adds to your credibility if you have experience. If you don't, talk about maybe some volunteer experience that you had. That counts too. Um, if Even if you've never been employed as a teacher or something, just use your experience and talk yourself up as best you can, okay? So that was number four. All right, number five is to use TPR, not incidental language, okay? What is TPR? TPR stands for total physical response, okay? So this is when you're using gestures and you want them to gesture back. Hopefully they will. If they don't, which they often won't, that's fine. Um, but it really helps them to associate words. For example, I, I am a visual learner. I'm a kinesthetic learner. So for me, TPR is just critical. Okay, um, if a teacher is trying to teach me a new word and I have no clue what that word is and they're just saying the word, whoosh, try to use try to use TPR, okay? So like if you're talking about baseball, you know, baseball. Baseball. And you can even try to time it so that it matches the syllables. For example, baseball right? So much easier than me just going baseball. TPR is extremely helpful. And what was that incidental language thing? Incidental language is any time that you're saying something that you don't need to be saying. Um, I know it's a tendency as a classroom teacher to try to transition from one thing to another. Um, you don't really need those transitions when you're working with beginner level students. Um, any extra words that you're using, just cut them out, right? Um, so like, B makes the sound B. Good. You don't need, hey, that was a great job. This time do it a little bit more like, cut it out. It's too much. All right. Um, so again, TPR. Use TPR. Super helpful. Um, the next one, number six, use your props. Now, you do not need to go buy anything. That being said, I love the dollar store. Dollar Tree, I go there like almost every day. It's dangerously close to where I live. Um, but you can buy just simple items if you're going to buy anything. Um, this dry erase board was $1.00. Uh, the markers that go with it were also a dollar. Uh, dry erase board's really helpful. Um, for letters, I like to use paint chips, which I already had. I just recently moved. Um, so paint chips, you can write the letters on there. Use clothes pins. I like to use this. And then I put it at a level. Well, usually it works a little better. It's like right up here and they can still see me talking. And then I did one of these little things. So I switched the letter around. <clears throat> so you can you can use whatever you have. Um, if you want, you can get some puppets. Like this little guy. Just remember, if your arm's showing, it's not really a puppet anymore. Um, but they're really great for demonstrating um, conversation. Um, so, for example, something like, Teacher Tina, what do you see? I see a dog. And then I could say something like, um, Susie, what do you see? Right? So it kind of, you can model it with the puppet and then have the puppet ask a question. If you don't have a puppet, you can use a sock, just draw a face on it. I'm serious. These kids are going to love you no matter what. Um, so, um, and the interviewers will really appreciate any extra effort that you put in. Um, like I said, you don't have to buy anything. A lot of these things I had just sitting around, such as this dog face. Um, it's actually a card. I use it. it um, it's great for parts of the face, even though it's a dog. Um, so just use what you already have. Um, letter blocks are really helpful. Number blocks. Um, I recommend the Dollar Tree. I just love the, going there anyway, um, but it's really great. So um, 
So be sure that you're using your props. I actually have to limit how much I use props because I tend to use too many props and go over my time. Um, so if that's you, think of it as, um, like some people say, when you're going out on a date, when you're at the door, take off one accessory because you probably have too many on. That's me with props. I need to just like throw something across the room and no longer use it. But if that's not you, don't worry about it. Um, just be sure that you use your props and use them effectively, okay? So that was number six. The next one that I have um, is practice makes perfect. Just kidding! Practice makes performance, um, right? You're, it's not going to be perfect. Everything's not going to go perfectly in your interview or in your lessons. Um, so practice does not make perfect. It makes performance. What you do when you practice is probably going to be how you're going to perform. Okay? So if you practice um, and you only ever practice without your headset, and then all of a sudden you've got your headset on and you're hitting it, and it's going all over the place, and you're getting tangled in the cord, that's not good. So be sure that you practice in the way that you want to perform, right? So I would recommend recruiting a friend. I recruited my husband. He hated every second of it, but he was willing to do it because he knew it was important to me. So um, if you can get a kid to help you, um, try teaching a kid. You'll probably get the questions, weird questions and things that you wouldn't have anticipated. Um, but it's really important that you try to anticipate questions um, or difficulty that a child may have. Um, for example, for getting an article. Um, so a child may say, I see tiger. How are you going to correct that? Try to think these things through before your interview. Okay, remember, it's, it's a short interview, um, but you do want to be really, really prepared. All right. Um, so that was number six. Number seven. Just kidding. See, I should have practiced this more. That was number seven. Number eight is get a referring teacher. I would love to be your referring teacher. Um, so what that means, probably you are already past the stage that you already have your application in. Um, if you follow the directions that I have on this video or below this video, um, you can see how you can get me to be your, re your referring teacher. Um, once you um, send off my name and email to the recruitment team and tell them that you want me to be your referring teacher, um, they will link us up in the system, in the system, and then um, I'll be able to coach you. Um, I have lots of coaching experience. I would really love to Skype you, um, and maybe you can practice you know, your, your interview. I can practice, do a mock interview with you, and then you can teach your lesson. I can give you feedback. Um, so yes, please feel free. I would love to be a referring teacher for you, uh, referring teachers, really are helpful to you more than anything. You don't lose anything by working with a teacher. Um, I've heard that refer people who come by referral are more likely to get hired, probably because they practice with that referring teacher. Um, so I would really love to help you um, if you are so inclined. Um, and I did promise you a little orange card. So this card is something that I really want you to keep in mind. And this was so helpful to me. I had a hiring manager tell me this um, a couple years back. Shout out to you, Andre. Um, so you need to act like you already have the job. Act like you already have the job. Does that mean that you're just pompous and crazy? No, of course not. Um, but you need to have that kind of confidence. That's the type of confidence you need to portray, is that I'm here, I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm smiling, I'm making good eye contact with the computer, with the camera, because if you're looking over here or you're looking at the screen and you're trying to teach, um, yeah, that doesn't look very confident, does it? So you need to look right at the camera. 
look at the camera, make it your friend. Um, the interviewer is going to be really impressed if you make eye contact, you have that smile on your face and you're super confident. Um, so I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, I will continue to make videos to help you. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Um, if there are any questions or anything, feel free to email me at the email that I have listed below here. Um, and I'd love to be a referring teacher for you. Good luck. You're going to do great. I'm your personal cheerleader. You don't need pom-poms, but I have them, so I'm going to use them. Um, and again, please feel free. Um, email me any questions and just do, do the best that you can do. And I'm sure that you'll do great. Thank you. See you next time.